Patrick and I are going to talk about two stories about asteroids. This is a photograph of Bennu. And uh, what's amazing, I mean, come on, look at the detail of this thing. Real imagery uh, taken from actually being there uh, with the OSIRIS-REx mission. And so um, the OSIRIS-REx mission is uh, searching for its next step. So Patrick, you want to tell us in one-third as many sentences? Okay, uh, <laughs> let me try that. Uh, okay, so uh, OSIRIS-REx uh, completed its mapping mission and uh, it got some close-up images and found that the surface as asteroid is composed of large uh, blocks of boulders and uh, they need to, to uh, actually make uh, some uh, samplings of the surface and so they had to find areas that were kind of free of boulders. They found four areas where most basically were uh, impact craters. So boulders were kind of smashed into a pulp. And so they can sample um, these. These are four uh, sampling sites. And you can see them uh, labeled there in this map. Where, where it's flat enough yeah. to go in and get something, because yeah. the rest of it's so rocky. That's right. Yeah. And, and the important thing is uh, spacecraft's uh, safety is number one. You don't want to land a spacecraft on the surface near a boulder field and have uh, one of its solar panels broken off. So anyway, um, we can go to the next slide. The four sites are identified in, I think, in, in, is it right there? There they are. There's one of them. And you can see they are named. So. And we'll get to those names. So there they are. Yay! <laughs> I was going to be a competition between the two of you. Who was going to get there first? Leslie, did you say it? No. You get the prize, he doesn't. <laughs> Okay, so here are the four candidate sites in detail, and you can see a scale there, it's like a 10 meter scale, and that's, uh, that's why, because um, they, they have some interesting stuff, hydrated minerals, carbon rich uh, materials, water rich minerals, and uh, dark fine grained materials. And about those birds, there they are. So <laughs> and why? Because um, uh, Bennu uh, is an uh, Egyptian deity which is associated with the sun, uh, creation, and uh, rebirth, and uh, possibly the, um, in Greek mythology, the rise of the phoenix. And um, if you're very curious, uh, here are some more details and a little bird song that goes with each one. So that's a nightingale site. And there's the kingfisher site. Here's the carbon-rich site, Osprey. And the water-rich material of sandpipe. So the, the sites will be uh, whittled down from uh, four to two, and uh, they'll select a final site and, and a backup site to sample uh, somewhere in late uh, 2020. And then after that, the spacecraft returns to Earth in September of 2023. Okay, and the other one, Ryugu, looks a whole lot like Bennu, so you know, uh, but it's a, a, a little bit smaller, but there's a mission there as well, and uh, that is the Hayabusa 2 mission. It released this picture in July, uh, same situation, it's a rubble pile, and so there's Barney Rubble. Um, and uh, why this is important is that if an asteroid is going to threaten us, the more we know about, the more we can do something if an asteroid is gonna come crashing into Earth and do to us what it did to the dinosaurs. So uh, one of the ideas, again, back in our theme, uh, is to blow it up, but you don't wanna do that because then you get all, it's so loosely held together, you'll just get one big rubble field and it'll pepper us and it's not a good solution. This is important to know, because if we're going to try to move on or whatever, we need to know how dense and how solid these things are. And the answer is they're not solid at all. So um, this is a picture of the spacecraft, Hayabusa 2, lingering over one of the spots there where a, a thing hit uh, the surface. And um, it collected uh, a piece of debris. Do the hop. Do, do the hop. You know, that's a good one, too. So far, it's not correct, but it's good. Um, <laughs> so I'm just going to do this one. No, but I like it. I'll go with it. It's hopping. Um, so, so it got two different samples, one of just the surface the way it was, and then one of the, that had this excavated from beneath. So we could get different parts of the asteroid and bring those samples back 
home. So when that happened, there's a happy team. We put that in at late today after seeing the sad team from India. We thought we'd show you a happy team from Japan. Happy that they made the hop just fine and got new samples. And there's the uh, cr crater that they created. And now Ryugu, or uh, <laughs> Hayabusa 2, is packing up and heading back to Earth. And it will be... Uh, Thank you, Max. We're going home. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, and it's going to deliver those samples back to us on the surface in Australia in December of next year. So this was the graphic they made. We thought we'd do a snazzier one, but you know what? Let's just get right to it. It's coming down in Australia, uh, and on the surface is where we'll go pick up our Barney Rubble. Um, take it to labs, find out what it's all made of, and solve the uh, mysteries of how the solar system is formed. <laughs>